Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm answering a question from P1, um, Chapter 5. It's about straight line graphs, and it's question 9 from my end of topic worksheet um, from P1 of Chapter 5, and it's also a question from a, one of the Solomon papers, the Solomon I from C1. It's question number 10 from that particular paper. Um, so here we've given this diagram with some lines, um, line one, line two, some points A, B, C, D, a set of axes. It says it says that figure one shows a parallelogram A, B, C, D. So we know this is a parallelogram, okay, which means the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. Okay, it says the points A, B, uh, A and B have coordinates negative one, three, and three, four respectively. So that means A has the coordinates negative one, three. And B have the coordinates 3, 4. And lie on the straight line L1. Find an equation for the line L1, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so you have the point A with the, point with the coordinates negative 1, 3. And the point B with the coordinates 3, 4. And uh, we need to find the equation of line 1. And A and B both lie on line 1. Okay, so I've just got the diagram here so we can see what's going on. So both of those two points lie on that line. So to find the equation of a straight line, we need two things. One of them is we need the gradient of the line. And the other is we need any point on the line. And we actually have two points on the line, so we can use any of those two points. So like, for example, I think I'd use, let's say, 3, 4. Okay, I could use any of the two and I'll get the answer. So the first step is to find the gradient. Now the gradient of a um, straight line, if we know two points on the line can be found by the change in y, so you can say, for example here, 3 take away 4 over the change in x, which is negative 1 take away 3, that gives you minus 1 over minus 4, which is a quarter. So the gradient of this line is equal to a quarter, and we can see that it's a positive gradient and it's quite shallow, so it kind of fits in. If it came out as negative, which kind of like maybe think we've made a mistake because this line has definitely got a positive gradient on the diagram. So the gradient is a quarter. So if you want to find the equation of the line, there's lots of different, well, there's a couple of different formulas you can use. I prefer to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, especially if we've got a fractional gradient. So we can just say y minus y1. So y1 is the y coordinate of the point, which is 4, equals m, which is a quarter, times x minus x1, which is the x coordinate of the coordinate, the x, x coordinate of this point, which is 3. Now, if I want to solve this and leave it in the form where a, b, and c are integers in this form here, I would like to get rid of the fraction. So I can multiply both sides of the equation by 4, in which case all of this side gets multiplied by 4. So you have 4y minus 16. This 4 times a quarter becomes 1, so you're left with x minus 3. Now we want to end up with something in this form. Um, it's always neater, better to keep the x on the side where it's going to be positive. So I'm going to keep the x here. So I have to subtract 4y from both sides to get rid of this 4y from here and add 16 to both sides. Um, so I have 16 minus 3. So I've got minus 3 plus 16, which is going to be um, 13. Negative 3 plus 16 is 13. So therefore, the equation of the line is x minus 4y plus 13 equals 0. That's the answer to part A. Okay, um, that's pretty simple. Um, so we've got x minus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So line 1, x minus 4y plus 13 equals 0. Just make sure of that. Yep. Okay, now it says the points C and D lie on the straight line L2 which has the equation x minus 4y minus 21 is equal to 0. Show that the distance between line 1 and line 2 is k root 17, where k is an integer to be found. Now, the distance between two straight lines, and these are two parallel lines, is the, um, the perpendicular distance between them. That's what, that's what the distance between two parallel lines would be. So the, the perpendicular distance between those lines is going to be what we're looking for. Now, we already know the coordinates of the point A and the point B. So A was negative 1 
and what was it? Negative one and three. Okay, and B was three and four. Okay, so if we use one of those points, oops, if I use this line that I have here and make it go through either B or A and then try and work out the distance between B and this line. So um, what I can do is I can work out the distance between this point and this point over here. Okay, how do I find that distance? That's what I'm looking for, this distance between B and this point over here. I know this is a right angle. Okay, so I need to find the distance between B and this point. Let me call this point X. Okay, I need to find the point, the distance between B and X. Point X, and this is like the distance X. That's what I need to find. How can I find that distance there? Well, there's a few things we could do. I know the equation of line one. I can work out the equation of the line which passes through B and is perpendicular to line one. Okay, if I know the, where this line meets the, this line 2, if I can find out where they intersect, that will be the point X. X is where the line perpendicular to line 1 through B meets line 2. So if I find the coordinates of X, I, have, I will be able to find the length BX. Okay, that's one way I'm thinking of dealing with this. Okay, that's uh, one way to deal with it. Um... So let's try and see how that works. So let's find the equation of the line. Let me call this line 3. I'm going to call this line 3. Okay. So line 3 here. So line 3, we know it's perpendicular to line 1 and line 2, of course. And it, and it goes through B. And it's through the point B. And B has the coordinates 3, 4. Okay, now, I know that the gradient of line 3 is a negative reciprocal of the gradient of line 1. So it's going to be f uh, minus 4. Okay, the, the gradient of line 1 was a quarter. This is the negative reciprocal of that. And it goes through the point 3, 4. So we can find its equation. We can say y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we can say y minus, again, 4 equals m. This time it's m is minus 4 times x minus 3. So we end up with y minus 4 equals negative 4x plus 12. So we can say 4x plus y and minus 16 is equal to 0. That's the equation of um, this line here, which is perpendicular to the line um, x minus 4y plus 13. So if I find where this is, this is line 3. And this is line 2. So line 2 and line 3, they intersect at x, which is the point we've called x here. So to find where they intersect, we can solve them simultaneously. So we have x minus 4y minus 21 equals 0. And we have 4x plus y minus 16 equals 0. So if I take one of these equations, for example, if I take um, this equation and multiply it by 4, I'll have here 16x plus um, 4y minus 64 equals 0. And I'll have this equation here, which I'll write down underneath again. x minus 4y minus 21 equals 0. Now, if I add those two equations together, that will eliminate the negative of y, 4y and the plus 4y. If I add them, that will give me 17 minus 64 minus 21 is minus, is that 17x, sorry, minus 85 equals 0. So 17x is equal to 85. So x is equal to 85 over 17. I think that's 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 7 is 35. That's right, 5. That's the x coordinate of the point. And if I substitute here into this equation here, um, x is equals 5, I'll find the y coordinate. So I can say 4 times 5 plus y minus 16 equals 0, so 20 plus y is equal to 16, so y is equal to 16 minus 20, so y is equal to negative 4, so the point x has a coordinates 5 and negative 4. So those are the coordinates of the point x, 
and I can find now the distance between B and X, which, which is what we want. So the distance between B and X is equal to where we have B is 3, 4, and X is 5 minus 4. Okay, X is, and so we can find the distance between them by using Pythagoras, the distance formula, the, dif the difference between the Y coordinates squared and the distance between the X coordinates squared so that's going to give me the square root of and that gives me 3 minus 5 which is 2 squared which is 4 plus that's 4 minus minus 4 sorry it should be minus 4 that's going to be 8 um, 8 squared which is 64 okay so that's 4 plus 4 which is 8 8 squared is 64 so we end up with 4 plus 64 square root so that's going to be the square root of 68 Okay, so we have to now try to break this down. They've told us the form they want it in. They want it in exact form, k root 17. So that means 17 must go into uh, 68. It must be, I think it's 4, yeah, 4 times 17. 4 sevens are 28, yeah, 68. So this is like the square root of 4 times the square root of 17, which is 2 root 17, okay? So that means where k is an integer to be found that's right so the distance between l1 and l2 so the distance between l1 and l2 is equal to 2 times root 17 therefore k is equal to 2 okay so there we have our answer to this question part b all right so how did we do this we know that the distance between two lines is the perpendicular distance between them so we found the perpendicular line to line one which passes through b and so we have this point on this perpendicular line and we found where that perpendicular line intersects with line two okay and we found the coordinates of the point where they intersect that would be you know the point x here and the distance between b and x using the length formula will be the distance between those two lines simple as that okay so that's part b done all right um and then part c says find the area of the parallelogram okay so the area of a parallelogram so um, the area of a parallelogram is basically the base times the vertical height the base times the, the vertical height okay that's the area now we know that this is um, the vertical height what we just found it's the distance between the parallel sides is like the vertical height so what we just found here this distance between B and X okay that is like you could say the vertical height Okay, so that's 2 root 17. If we find um, the, because this is like perpendicular to the base, you see, if we find the length AB, okay, if we find the length AB, then multiply by 2 root 17, we'll have found the area of the parallelogram. So the A was a point negative 1, 3, and B was a point 3, 4. Okay, so um, we can just find the length between those two. So it's going to be the square root of, so the distance between A and B is the square root of minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. So that's minus 4 squared, which is 16, plus 3 minus 4, which is minus 1, so it's going to be 1. That's equal to the square root of 17. Therefore, the area is going to be the base, which is root 17, times 2 root 17, which gives me 2 times 17, which is 34 um, square units okay 2 times 17 is 34 square units that's the area the base times a vertical height the distance between the parallel sides okay um, is a vertical height which is 2 root 17 times the base so we can take a b as the base and there we have the area of that parallelogram and that's the answer to part c and that's the answer to this question which is number nine from the end of topic worksheet number five and question number 10 from the solomon i paper from the old C1 collection. Okay, so I hope that was clear and I hope that you understood well. There are um, other questions from this worksheet or from this Solomon I paper will be found in the playlist that should appear over here. Other questions from this end of topic worksheet number five can be found in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area. You will find questions from this, chap from this uh, topic of straight line graphs from P1 in the playlist that appears like past paper questions and such and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that should appear
Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.